to Sandals Royal Barbados and of course Sandals Barbados next door. We're gonna keep saying that because it's kind of worth repeating. Two <laughs> Barbados for the price of one. That's right. We're back here day number two. We checked in yesterday. We're back for some more fun. So let's go ahead and get it started. Day number two here in Barbados at Sandals begins right now. It is currently afternoon um, because Matt has been spending all morning touring this entire huge property. So if you want an in-depth look at Royal Barbados, make sure you check out that video as well as he is going to tour Barbados property in another video as well later on today. But you came back to the room for a short bit to one, recharge the batteries and recharge yourself. How do we recharge, Matt? Food. Food. <laughs> Let's get some lunch. So we are tucked up here in the South Seas Village area, the very back end of the resort. We'll show you how we got here when we leave, but we are heading to Heart and Soul. Surf, sun, and smoothies. Fresh smoothies, they got sandwiches. It's like a deli. Let's, let's, let's go see what they have. That logo's amazing. Yes, it is. Well, I said let's head inside, but we're actually dining al fresca today. Which I prefer. It's such a nice day today. And these resorts are gorgeous. There is so much land. I talked about this in the ship, uh, the, I almost said ship tour, the resort <laughs> tour. Uh, there's so much beautiful landscaping here, flowers throughout, and birds are like constantly chirping. All kinds of wildlife too, so it's really nice. Here is a look at the menu. Oh, there's the hen and those cheeps that I've been hearing. Those aren't just random birds. Those are the little chicks. I saw them earlier while I was doing the tour. They're, I think, hidden. Oh, there they are. It is funny because we're here at Heart and Soul, which leans a little healthier. And actually connected to Heart and Soul is the greenhouse, which is very healthy and has locally sourced ingredients. You know, it's more of like an organic flair and mm -hmm. free range and all that. And then it's like literally free range <laughs> right here next, right next to where we're eating. It really adds to the ambiance. And the food has quickly arrived. I went with the uh, chicken Caesar wrap. Looks quite good. And you went with a nice little salad. It's like a chicken, sunflower, capers, broccolini salad. I hope our lunchtime friends don't realize what we're eating for lunch. Yikes. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> What did you think of your salad at lunch? It was really good. My chicken Caesar wrap was really good too. For something so simple, it was actually one of the better ones I've ever had. It's nice that there's like a light option. Yeah. Like a non gut busting option. Yeah. That's nice. And just to give you an idea of where we came, just kind of, kind of go over this path here. And what you're going to notice is, is it looks like a backstage area. It looks like an area that you're not supposed to come into. But it's not. It's, you're, you're fully welcome to come through here. And it's also on the backside of the spa. So they actually do outdoor treatments and stuff. See that thatched roof? Right under there, someone's getting a massage right now. You have to be quiet when you're coming through here. So, this, like, what looks like a backstage road but isn't a backstage road, this is like the dividing line, right? Yes. So this, and that's the path we took last night. That's the path we took last night to go eat dinner at, at the, Soy. At the Barbados side. Yes. So, Royal Barbados, Barbados. Royal Barbados, Barbados. Accurate. Half and half. There you go, <laughs> two for one. <laughs> Beautiful. This resort is stunning, both of them. Oh, before you uh, go do, get back into tour mode, do you want to go look at the beach? Because we haven't seen the beach. Today. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Barbados, baby. Look at that. Blue, green water. This water is gorgeous. Now, I will say, it's not like crystal clear or anything. It is getting turned up quite a bit from the waves coming in. But Wait, you can see so many of the different colors, like the dark blue, the light blue, like the the like a uh, sea foam color yeah. blue it is this is very pretty 
And so yeah, here's the shared beach. So Royal Barbados right there, and then right over there is where it ends and Barbados begins. So it's just one long beach all the way down there to those rocks. And then basically, it's not really a dividing line here. It's just kind of where the, the brush is growing up there and that other building begins is the next resort. Great for a swim, great for some casual stuff. I, I doubt, I, I wouldn't try snorkeling here. I mean, I might try it. It's always good to try, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see anything just judging by the way this water is getting churned up, at least today. But they do have the included snorkeling excursions daily. So. Which we're going to do, not today. It's really a shame we're not getting in the water today, but we <laughs> will. Oh my gosh, somebody just got married. Like they got married right, right there. Right there. Look, them, Ocean. Ocean. Them. Good job and many congratulations to you. Okay, Matt has left to continue his touring expedition. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you something that's like right next to the beach. It's right over here. I want to show you. Check this out. Infinity pool of monumentous proportions. It looks like a big aquarium. Look, that's all glass and the pool's actually really big. Um, something I do want to point out about this pool, other than it's completely gorgeous and you have an amazing view of the ocean, is that this this pool gets really, really loud. We're over here on the World Barbados side and this is probably like the party pool to say they're not playing the music too loud right now at this particular moment but i'll i'll make sure that i i come by again maybe tomorrow when the when the pool is hopping because it did get very very loud okay i have learned that there's a bajillion pools here so right um there's a swim up bar right here um and then the mariner restaurant is right here over on the barbados side um but i wanted to show you in this pool they have like a volleyball net set up for the day we call the last pool the party pool let's call this pool the sports pool well we've already looked at a bunch of pools let's just keep touring pools for today so we're over here next to the jerk shack um over on the royal side and Here's this pool. We need to give it a fun name, right? Um, it's kind of like luxe and fancy looking. So I'm gonna call this the Posh Spice Pool, right? It's kind of have that vibe. Has those like modern looking cabanas, has a swim up bar right there. Looks, I don't know. I'm feeling Posh Spice. I'm a 90s girl though. <laughs> came back over here to where we had lunch earlier because I wanted to show you the pool that's right across from the restaurant, um, Heart and Soul. This is by far the quietest pool um, that I've seen, at least so far, in passing through the two resorts. Um, in case that's of interest to you, if you like quiet pool kind of setting, I think this one, at least so far, would be your best bet. We're calling this the quiet pool. Shh, don't be too loud. Shh, shh, shh. Over by the Portofino's restaurant, we find yet another pool. And what's interesting about this pool is it has all these like cabanas, but they kind of like almost look like circus tents. So we're, we're gonna call this pool uh, under the big top because uh, the, that's the vibe it's giving me. But yeah, this, this pool is actually really quiet too. Um, you know, we talked about the previous one we just saw was probably the quietest pool. This one is actually very quiet too. So this is another very chill, calm pool option. While we're over by Under the Big Top, let's take a quick break and pop in to Cafe de Paris, a sandal staple that is one of my absolute favorites. should just be like a staple all the time, everywhere. It always makes something look better and cozier and homey, and I love it. 
Here's a look at the different sweet treats they have, at least for today. I'm sure it changes quite often. Oh, and something I want to point out, they do have gluten-free options, um, which is like the cupcake that I got. And yeah, they have all sorts of stuff. Tarts, cupcakes, cookies, fruit. Ooh, a brownie cupcake. I should have noticed that earlier. I might have gotten that, but that's okay. There's still time. I can reorder. Holy moly, they have strawberry cheesecake ice cream. I need to remember to tell Matt about that because he will take advantage of that. <laughs> cupcake in gluten-free form and I have to say it is absolutely delicious I, I I would have never known this was gluten-free it's so good especially the frosting so it's very nice um, sandals is very good about allergies and having different options so if you have allergies or like things gluten-free or anything free you definitely have those options here and not necessarily public pools but somewhat private pools are these um, swim-up pools and lagoons for the swim-up suites. And I'm over on the Barbados side, but they do have these room options at both the Royal um, Barbados side and on the Barbados side. beach earlier this is the wedding chariot so I guess maybe they they bring you over to this point so then you know you're not like walking around the whole resort in a huge gown that's very very helpful and very cute I wanted to show as I came through here there's some fun chairs there's some croquet clubs there's a fun wedding photo spot and here's Matt I did it back after a double dose of resort touring Good work. Whoever decided to do two resort tours in one day is a fool. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Well, I I got juice though. I think your I think your foolery is worth reward. You got your swimsuit on. I do. We've been talking pools today. We have. I saved perhaps the best for last. The best is yet to come. They won't it. Fine. I think it will be fine. Let's head up <laughs> to the tallest pool in Barbados. You think you've seen the sun, but you ain't seen it shine. <laughs> I just said that this is the tallest pool in Barbados. I don't know that to be a fact. Do not spread that as fact. It's probably fiction, but it is the tallest one in resort. I know what another fact is, though. This what? is the first sandals rooftop pool. <gasps> Ooh! So there you go. That's a fact. I said downstairs that this is arguably the best pool because everyone has different thoughts and opinions, right? But I mean, how can you argue with that view? This is brisk. I'm not gonna lie. I do not care, <laughs> Sam I am. <laughs> to Sandals Only Rooftop Pool. I definitely make a point to come to this one. This one is special. The sun is setting back behind the buildings here in Barbados. And we're getting ready for our travel agent group cocktail welcome and dinner. Okay, we are out this door to go to our travel agent dinner, but I wanted to mention um, that this is this is like a obviously it's a travel agent dinner kind of thing so like we may not be filming the way we normally would film dinner but i'll try to at least show you like 
you know, the food or the ambiance and stuff like that. Yeah, we honestly have no idea what's about to happen here. It <laughs> says our dinner is on the Royal Terrace, which is just that, like, stage area down there. So we'll show you the Royal Terrace. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> Let's go. sandal sign on the elevated platform but I wanted to show you something down here that they have set up for us to film so this is an example of a candlelight dinner a private dining experience now, a lot of the times people will do these out on the beach in the sand but you can do them at other locations as well and you see they set it up very very nice romantic I really like this one actually because it's the color changing LED candle so not a true candle but I like how it changes colors Tonight's live entertainment, it's reggae night! Before we head back and retire for the evening, let's head into the club lounge and grab some dessert. Mission accomplished! Sandals, cookies, sandals, cookies. There's plastic on these. Also, let's take the long way back to the room. Go for a little night stroll through both resorts. Get a little, uh, night aesthetic. Might say, as long as it's a uh, trademark. <laughs> So we have now made our way over to Sandals Barbados, crossed over from Royal Barbados, and we noticed personally that we, I think we like this, uh, the vibe of night a little bit better over here, maybe during the day as well. It seems that Royal Barbados is more of like party central and like happening times and hot vibes and things like that. Whereas over here at just Barbados, it's a little bit more calm, a little bit less going on. Like they have the piano bar instead of the big entertainment stage and instead of like happening DJ speaker music. <laughs> just It's just kind of calmer and, and it's more relaxing here. We are back up top at the Sky Bar because Chelsea wanted to Shirley Temple. But check it out. It's lit up all blue. Oh, the bar's blue and look, it's like, it looks like waves on the bar. It's almost like it's water. Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> back to the room but I wanted to give you an idea of how close the Royal Terrace or whatever it's called is that we had dinner at. That's it right there. So uh, we just came to down those stairs across this little path and up this stairway in our corner our room's right around the corner. Hey Matt. Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? <gasps> six geese a laying. Count them. There's, there's actually six. Three. One, two, three, four, five, Six hidden behind you there? There it is. I told you. Six geese a laying. Well, flying. <laughs> Six geese a flying. All right, friends, that is going to do it for us here on day number two at Sandals Royal Barbados and Sandals Barbados. Why don't I just like say Sandals Barbados to kind of just sum it all up? But we're technically at Royal, so I feel like I have to say that. Why don't we say BRB? Oh, well, we. Barbados. And Royal Barbados, BRB. Well, we will BRB at BRB <laughs> very soon. Tomorrow, day number three, we'll be back here with even more action. Actually, a lot more action. Today was our busiest day because we had to film the tours. We had the travel agent stuff. We do have some more travel agent stuff tomorrow, like seeing rooms, which will be super cool. And then we'll pretty much be free after that. So I think we'll be able to get into some fun stuff and uh, show you a lot more action here at BRB. Of course, if you're interested in coming to Sandals BRB, Barbados or Royal Barbados <laughs> or anywhere else, any other sandals or beaches, we can help make that happen. As travel advisors, we partner directly with sandals. It's completely free to use our services. 
you know the whole spiel. Reach out via the travel age information. It's in the description of this video. And uh, if you've recently booked a Sandals or Beaches stay within the last 14 days, you can transfer it to our agency completely free to you and we'll be able to assist you the rest of the way. So we we'll hope we'll hear from you soon. We'll see you back tomorrow. Day number three, BRB at BRB. <laughs> but until then, we're signing off for tonight. We'll see you geese time next time. <laughs> Happy, Happy travels! travels.